Hi guys, it's Sherry. So today we are going to be making some faux honeycomb calcite. And I thought with summer here, I wanted to really just create something that was bright and beautiful to go with summer. So the first thing you're gonna need is your translucent clay. And I'm just gonna cut four pieces here. So that's about the thickness that I'm cutting. I'm try to, I have blue on my blade. Let me try to get that off. And then I'm going to just take three of these, cut them in half. I have three different orange alcohol inks, and this is actually like um, poly resin ink, but it works just the same and the only reason I have two different kinds is because I only had so many oranges so um but we're going to put a drop on that one this is called golden oh let me open this put one drop on that and then one drop there So then what I will do is I will just run these through my pasta machine until they are well blended. Okay guys, so now my pieces are all combined. These are the colors that I have gotten. And my next step is to do my cuts. So I am just rolling these into balls. And then just start chopping them up. And we want some big pieces, some small pieces. You can add more ink to make them dark, darker if you like. I just really wanted to kind of keep some light since it's um, summertime. I thought it would be nice to have um, some lighter colors um, instead of dark. And we will do the same with our translucent. So take this all, let's mix it together here. Get it all mixed real well and break up any of these big pieces that are stuck together. Okay, so once that's mixed up nicely, get your white paint. I have a metallic white. And then I'm going to coat this really well and make sure it is on all of my pieces. So you're really gonna wanna tear these pieces apart and make sure it's on all of it. You can put this in a bag, but I find it to be easier to use your hands to make sure that everything is nicely coated. And then once it's all coated, we're going to let this completely dry before we take the next step. All right, guys, so my pieces are mainly dry for the most part. There's a few pieces that are wet, but we're okay with that. And I really think that um, this is going to come out nice. Now the honeycomb calcite that I was looking at had real dark like white veins. So I'm hoping with all the white paint, um, it's going to show those white veins. So my next step is to put liquid polymer clay on. So I'm going to get that in there mix that up well make sure all the pieces are put together so now i did use mainly orange but i also used that one golden one this one here um because 
calcite, the honeycomb calcite has yellow in it. So I want to make sure that I had yellow in my piece. So now I'm going to put this into a block and try to get all my pieces together real nice. So just mush your pieces. Okay. That looks pretty good. All right, so let me clean up this mess real quick. Our next step is to start slicing this. Look how beautiful, guys. I think that's going to have some really nice white veins. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more deeper veins, but I'm okay with this. I think that should be good there. All right. So now I'm going to take my translucent that I have left and I'm going to roll this out to my, um, let's see, second thickest setting. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to lay these down. Alrighty. So now let's just roll this out. Look how beautiful that looks already. I mean, absolutely stunning. Don't worry about if paint gets on your roller and spreads because as we sand this down um, after it bakes, we could get all that paint off. I just want to make sure that this is level. Okay, I'm happy with that thickness. And I have my cutter here. Save, we're going to save that for another project for another day. Yeah, beautiful. And then that should really shine through because it's such a thin layer of translucent on the back and we will shine this up real nice all right so now i will place these in the oven at 275 for a half hour and here are the finished earrings look how beautiful these came out guys I absolutely love these. What I ended up doing was I took them out of the oven, let them cool down. I sanded them with my Dremel tool. I ended up using this particular, you know, um, sander, and then I polished it as nice as I could. And then I ended up putting resin on top and look how beautiful that honeycomb calcite just came out so gorgeous and 
Unfortunately, I record on my phone, so I can't show you because I don't have a flashlight on hand. But when you put light behind this, it is just stunning. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And then I added some beads and then my fish hook um, post. And then I ended up doing another earring. And I thought, how cute would it be if I have the honeycomb calcite and then put a little bumblebee with it. So this is what I came up with and I love these. I think these are so great. I really hope you guys enjoy creating these pieces with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you wanna see more faux gemstones, let me know and then I could put that on my list of things to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.